In this video I want to show you how to test a low cluster for BMW E38, E39 and E53 when it's out of the car. So there's on the low cluster there is no uh, text, it's just pictures compared to the high cluster. <clears throat> and uh, it, it only has two connectors at the back. So it has the white connector and the black connector. The wires you need to use from the black connector are they're going to be on pin number 1, 13 and 25. That's going to be for the ground. And for the power, it's going to be pins 20, 21 and 22. And you can see how those pins are numbered. And you can just take apart apart this connector but by just pushing on this or pulling it off and then you can remove the extra wires that's what I did you just push on this and pull the wire it comes out that way it's not bulky you, you can just use the pins that you need for the test and that's all you need to test it to do a basic test the white connector you normally don't need it I used it uh, to tap the K-line and that's my blue wire so the K-line is the diagnostics line. This way I can connect it to my laptop and uh, actually scan it with the uh, INPA or BMW scanner and I can change VIN or do stuff like that. So I'll just show you how to do the basic test. So I'm using this power source, it's a 12 volt, one amp adapter. And so I'm just going to connect it to those two wires. And it's going to light up. And now you're going to press this button. Okay, now number two. And now I'm going to click one more time. And it's going to do the test, the self-test. Test, tests all the lights and all the gauges. And that's it. And this way you can see if you're if the cluster you're getting, if you're getting a used cluster from a scrapyard, you can test it before you buy it, or you can test it before you put it in the car. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more test. I'm going to connect it to my computer. So for that, I have this cable. And I'm using a BMW scanner adapter. Just going to plug it into my laptop. Then connect this together. And so just use the little sticker to tell me which pins to use so the again same thing here I got three three alligator clips the black one is going to be for ground it's pins five and four on this connector the K line it's pin seven and eight and the power is just pin 16 so I got them all together here and I'm going to connect them to this cluster now now they're all connected, which is going to let me use my laptop to, to scan the cluster. And I'm going to use the uh, BMW scanner. And I'm going to go into the IKE. And here you can see I can access the cluster. Here is the odometer, the chip, and the VIN. And here is I have the production date of this cluster. So week 17 and the year is 2005. And then you can access it. You can do the indicators test. If you press this button, it's going to go into the self-test mode again. And 
and uh, then you can scan for errors there's going to be some errors because it's not connected so here are the errors and there is some other stuff you can do like coding uh, changing service intervals and you can also code it with INPA or um, actually NCS expert is the one you can code it with you just need a different cable not the BMW scanner cable so you can do a lot of things with the cluster with it being out of the car